can you do an over explain game basically vocalize why you go everything okay alicia i will try that right now i will try to explain every single thing i do in the next game i'll try how did grunts and peels understand your orders in game when you don't speak spanish <laughs> I will not uh, justify a response for that, but know that I humorously snorted out air through my nose in uh, appreciation of your funny joke. Yes, be happy to. I will send all my peons to the gold mine to mine lumber. Damn, my simple explanation failed already. Secret Valley against Undead. The first thing I think about in every game, what are the major threats against me? What can I die to the first, before anything else? There's no point yes. thinking about destroyers, planning for the late game, if you know of certain early rush strategies that can take you down earlier. So when you build up a game strategy, you should always think of the first thing that can kill you before anything else. After a while, it will not take you that much brain power, yeah, it will not take you that much brain power to actually think of this it goes automatically but for the purpose of explaining i'll vocalize everything first thing that can kill me is a lich crypt fiend tower rush for the purpose of explaining i will actually scout his base even though i know exactly what i will find let's say that doesn't happen now i'm gonna talk not about things that can kill me but that can put me behind there are always certain assumptions you make every game such as i assume you will go for SMORC is love, SMORC is life, more WC3, love, Kappa cried. Thank you, Kibi, for the three dollars. Um, there's also things that doesn't just kill you, but they can put you behind. I will assume, in every standard game, Orc Undead, that he will do the strategy which is most meta, which is Death Knight Kripfian's opener. This is... The most meta because it's the most solid, which also means that in theory, on the great balance of things, it is the best. Now that doesn't mean that it's necessarily the best every time, but on average it is. Not scouting for it could, however, put me in a dangerous position where I assume something that turns out to be wrong, such as he will do early death knight harass rather than um, late death knight with Kripfians. I have now seen that this is not the case. He will go for a standard delayed timing death knight, which means that the first moves of the game go to me. I will use that to buy a double circlet and get the ogre mage. He cannot be on time to interrupt me, and I will take a valuable item, and I'll be roughly also denying him one of the creeps he might want to be doing later. So, we we'll go for this. Now, why do I have Blade Master? Suffice to say, he's the best choice in the, every situation because his DPS is the best. Farseer can be used, but it's not as um, trending. Now, Scroll of the Beast can be sold, but I choose to keep it. I hope these guys can stop freaking messing with my grant. Okay. I will keep it because I have found some humorous situations where Scroll of the Beast actually gives me a very large advantage in uh, killing stuff early. Oops. I will do a short stint of healing before continuing to creep it. Now, talk about creep routes. He will start to be creeping just about half an hour ago, like uh, 10 seconds ago. And so I will want to get level 2 because level 1 blade harass against I undead is not good. Pelikia smiley face. Thanks for playing WC. We all love it. I can feel the love. This is this is incredible, Pelik. Thank you very much. Hundred dollars. Incredible. Thank you so much, dude. Anyway, triple circuit is real nice. So now we want to start finding the undead. And so we will split up our grunts. We're going to go buy a Butsu Speed. This one is to see if he's doing it. I will next send my Blade Master through the middle to see if he's doing small leads. Now I'm going to the orange to see if he has done it in the past, which will help me to understand his creep route. He has, so he's probably here, maybe at the Goblin Shop, or in the top left. Let's see. This one hasn't been done yet. 
Okay. There's no time to keep turning around and keep re re-guessing, re-guessing, re-guessing. So we will have to actually <laughs> We'll have to actually start getting a creep camp here already. Um, he's dodging me pretty well. Maybe he's doing my natural. This would be epic mind games. Even checking something weird like the red spot. Yeah, he did do my natural. He went for the mind games. So now we start right clicking Cryptians while you're trying to use grunts to block. In the meantime, we go for four grunts. This helps to do uh, some of the uh, surrounds which I like to uh, do and uh, body blocking. Uh, keep in mind to uh, check out for the tech. Yes, Lord. What do you want? I am yours, Master. I will make a shadow hunter to play map control. I don't want him to get any more creeps. TC for long games of creeping, shadow hunter for map control. Also, raiders and walkers for map control. Whereas you go tier three for a long game. In a way, tier 3 is safer, because you can get Lightning Orb. Uh, but it's only safer once you actually get there. For like... Now, I have told you at the beginning of the game, the early game cheese risks that can kill me. And now it's time to start thinking about tier 2 things that can kill me. One of the things that can do that is um, uh, Frost Armor Rush. This is pretty strong. Frost Armor Rush is strong. And so we want to make sure we don't die to that. That's why we get walkers. Even though destroyers lay their own walkers, it's just an early game thing. I expect he's doing this. Um, Grunt Raider can do fine for a while, but the Link makes you much stronger at Tier 2. You try to use the advantage you get from your Tier 2, and... Um, uh, where is he? Yeah. So he's here or here? You try to use the Tier 2 advantage to bridge the later transition to Tier 3 better. So I will still go to tier 3, you always will, almost always, except if they're not going to uh, tier 3 themselves. But uh, I'm just bridging the gap. Uh, 123 mana on DK, he has mana potion, which shows a greater than usual investment in the mid game. Normally you let your second hero creep without your blade there, so that you gain uh, all XP on your uh, secondary hero. But I actually want to get level 3 here. He is camping because he knows I have the scarier army. So I will go to tier 3 now because it looks like he is content to stay passive in his base doing nothing. And I think he's wise. I would Shrek him if he moves out. I'll just show him I'm still there. No, he, he is looking to creep jack me, and that works just fine for me. Part of the reason I was starting this is to force him to actually make a move before tier 3. Check the disenchant. So he does have orb with no destroyer, so that's fine. I will start using scroll of the beast. Skeletons. Now we need a heal scroll. Yes, I am sure. 
Lich because we think yes. he's probably out of mana soon. Yes. Mm. We'll get a war mill for Kodo oh. and fortified defenses. I am yes. We'll save our disenchant for all the frost armor and skeletons. Oops. I am oh, he got it. Hold on. I think we'll just revive probably. Uh, he'll have destroyer soon. We'll, uh, we can rebuy or we can um, wait for it, but I think um, I think I'll rebuy. And, uh, it was still really good. Oh, damn it! Yeah, of course. It was still really good for us overall. Master, what task is there? Uh, we got most of the creeps. We just want to make sure. That we don't let him creep anything good. So look, he's checking this. I think of cancelling war mail, but that's not a good idea. We send our raider for scouting. He's actually going for his um, expansion. We'll sell this. Once he has destroyers, there's no value in um uh, Oh, he's going for the red spot now, I think. Oh, There's no value in uh, keeping a scroll of the beast against destroyers. I can do that. Oh, yes. Hey, okay. stupid grips. Oh. We'll also not use... We actually don't want double walker, we have it right now. I'm just gonna make another raider. I don't want it to keep this, so I go here immediately. I am yours. And he's not. Yes. I it's best if he starts without me now. Okay, he saw me. He just morphed another destroyer. Did you see that blue thing? We just want the vision. It doesn't matter if we ensnare a skeleton or a real unit. Oh, the skeleton wore out. Lol. No XP for him. We just want him not to creep. We're still waiting for our Kodo. So we don't need more than that. Just want him not to creep. Yeah, I need invo. I don't have mana at the moment. Heal scroll would have been nice, but I can't give him so much space. I am yours. Yes! I am one I am That's okay. No problem. We'll now send our peons back. They've done their work. And we stole the ogre lord. Let's not forget. So it could be much worse. The shadow could have survived if he wasn't silenced, if I did it differently, but sometimes it goes that way. This is for vision. Later, when he wants the red spot on my side, he will be passing through this area. And it'll be a very easy scout info for me that doesn't give him any XP. Buildings don't give XP unless they do damage. Voodoo doesn't. 
Remember, we want to limit his XP intake as much as possible. So just by being here, it'll be difficult for him to... You know, I'm just gonna go over 50. It'll be difficult for him to actually remain here and uh, do this. I'm in level 5 almost. I could go for a third hero, I'm choosing not to. Why? I don't have an answer for that right now, I don't have money at the moment. Kill, kill, kill. He has Frost Armor, he should be casting it. Or Nova. I don't know why he's not. Crit! Crit! Perch! Yes, Lord. Yes. Ah, well played, well played in here. Um, so my main mistake was not splitting up my walkers away from my shadow so that I could always disenchant my shadow if he catches a silence on it. This is a mistake that I've made throughout my entire career. Uh, I did not use a lot of walkers versus undead sometimes, but I always grouped up my walkers next to my shadow. And I've actually, since my return, been starting to pay more attention to it. And with mixed effect, as you can see. <laughs> I must have forgotten a lot of basic commentary of what I'm doing, but I can't do any better than that. <laughs> I did my best, uh, Elysium and uh, Andaven. ZJ Gaming said, I don't know what's going on, but I like it. <laughs> I like it too. Okay, here we go. Oh, DK? Okay. Put your breakers on DK. Yeah, I on DK? Are you mana? Yes. 